Congratulations on your purchase of the Clearstream 2 on-the-go RV antenna from Antennas Direct. This powerful antenna has a range of 60 miles, giving you the ability to receive a multitude of free UHF and high VHF over-the-air channels with high-definition picture and sound. The Clearstream 2 RV antenna replaces your current RV antenna using the existing single or two-pole elevating mast and the pre-installed coaxial cable. You will continue to be able to place the antenna in the up or down position and rotate the antenna from inside your parked RV. The Clearstream 2 on-the-go RV antenna provides you with unsurpassed range so you can watch more free TV channels in the comfort of your motorhome or RV. The Clearstream 2 RV antenna comes with everything you see here and the assembly and installation are easy when you follow these steps. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 10 millimeter ratchet and needle nose pliers. First, attach the antenna base to the center of the reflector and click securely in place. Next, connect the 12 inch coaxial cable to the antenna element connector and slide the weather boot over the connection. Connect the reflector with base to the antenna element, placing the other end of the 12 inch coaxial cable through the opening in the antenna base. Lay the antenna assembly flat to attach the mast bracket. Attach the mast bracket to the antenna base by using the three and a half inch bolt and the one and five eighths inch threaded bolt to the holes in the mast bracket. Next, remove the wax paper from the rubber bumper and place it on the mast bracket. Press firmly on the bumper so that it's secure. Now attach the VHF dipole assembly to the top bar on the reflector, pushing down until the VHF dipole assembly clicks securely in place. Now it's time to head up to the roof of your RV with the Clearstream 2 RV antenna. You will need to bring your tools for installation, the pre-amplifier assembly system, and all of the included hardware to install the antenna on your existing elevating mast. It is best to install the Clearstream 2 RV antenna to the elevating mast when the mast is cranked in the up position. First, you will need to remove the existing antenna from the elevating mast. Using the pliers, pull the two rings from the pins holding the antenna to the mast. Pull the pins out, unhook the coaxial cable, and remove the antenna from the elevating mast. You should also remove the existing bumper pad that's attached to the mast. Feed the already installed coaxial cable through the reflector grid directly under the antenna base. Now, partially slide the mast bracket attached to the Clearstream 2 over both elevating masts, aligning it with the screw holes. Secure the mast bracket using the 1 and 7 8 bolts, washers, and nuts. Place the washer on the bolt, and then slide through the mast bracket and elevating mast. Then, add a washer to the other side of the 1 and 7 8 bolt, and then add the nut, and tighten the bolt and nut by using a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter ratchet. The bolts will fit loosely to allow the antenna to lift up and down on the elevating mast. Raise the dipoles on the VHF assembly until they click into place. Now, connect the 12 inch coaxial cable from the antenna element to the VHF assembly into the UHF in port. Connect the provided three foot cable to the UHF VHF out connection on the VHF assembly. Next, slide open the lid of the preamplifier by pushing up on the front panel. Attach the preamplifier using the zip tie to the front pole of the elevating mast. Pull the zip tie tightly around the elevating mast. Next, attach the cable already installed to the elevating mast to the out port on the preamplifier. Then attach the other end of the three foot cable to the in port on the preamplifier. Close the lid by pushing down on the front panel. Use some of your own wire or zip ties to secure any loose cables to the front mast. To find the best reception from the broadcast towers, download the free Antenna Point app. You will find a list of available channels, distance, and the direction you need to aim your antenna to receive your TV signals. Inside your RV, make sure the power supply is switched on. With the elevating mast in the up position, pull down on the elevating crank and rotate the antenna towards the largest cluster of towers for the best picture and sound. Check your parking location for obstructions before scanning for channels. Next, using your TV's remote, scan for your available channels. Remember to lower the antenna before moving or driving your RV. If you need some assistance, we've got you covered. Call our connection crew at 1-877-825-5572 or chat with us online at antennasdirect.com. And that's it. You are now ready to receive free over-the-air television with unsurpassed quality compared to satellite. <laughs>